Okay, so in a previous video, I showed you how you can use an add-on called Blender OSM in order to download OpenStreetMap data from the internet into your Blender scene. However, it turns out there's a free alternative called Blender GIS, which does pretty much the same thing, except that it's free. It's a little bit more difficult to use, but I think it's worth it. So Blender GIS as an add-on seems to have quite a lot of detailed um, operations and settings and things that you can do, but this is just intended as a quick introduction to get you up and running. So I'll put the link in the description, but you can go here to the Blender GIS GitHub page. You can download the zip file, save it to a location that's good for you, uh, and then inside Blender you can go to Edit, Preferences, select the add-on section, and then press Install. Find the file that you downloaded, Blender GIS Master, and then you need to press this little box here to enable it. And there's one setting that you have to apply, which is the cache location. So if you expand the triangle here and then scroll down to the cache folder section and then just choose a temporary file location to put the cache and then that's the add-on setup. So in order to actually use it, the first thing you have to do is press this menu item here called GIS and to begin with we're going to load the base map. So I'm going to go to web, geodata and choose base map. You can also press number pad asterisk and so it gives us a few options um, as to how we can choose our area for importing street map data. Currently it's set to Google, but you can also choose OSM, Bing, or OSM WMS. I'm going to leave it at Google, and you can choose the map or the satellite version. I'm just going to leave it at the defaults. So I'm going to press OK, and then as you can see it loads up a world map, and you can zoom into this map and then find the area that you're interested in. So I'm just going to zoom in here to London. I'm just pressing the plus icons on my number pad and scrolling. You can also search for a location by pressing G. So I press G, I can type in London. And I can set a zoom level as well for how far into London I want to zoom. I'm going to set mine to 15. And if I press OK, you can see that it zooms into the middle of London. And then from there we can select an area that we like. So I'm going to choose an area. I'm going to choose something a bit like this. And once you're happy with it, um, you can press E to export that section and you can see that what it does is it brings in a two-dimensional image plane of the area that you selected so you just get kind of like a high resolution map to begin with so the next thing that I'd recommend doing is to get the height elevation and you can do that by selecting the uh, selecting the plane then going to GIS go to web geodata again and go to get SRTM and what that will do is it will load the height information the terrain so you can see that it's imported it and London is quite flat but you can see that there's a little bit of variation there you can see that there's a little dip where the River Thames is and the next thing that we can do is we want to add the buildings and the roads and things so again with our plane selected, we go to GIS, Web Geodata, and then Get OSM. And here you can choose between all of these different types of data. Uh, I'm going to select all of them. I'm just holding down Shift, and clicking and dragging. And one thing you want to make sure you've enabled is Elevation from Object. And what that will do is it will plonk the objects on top of the height map so that you so that everything has a correct elevation if you don't everything will come in flat so i'm going to press ok so you might want to be a little bit patient with this bit it can take quite a long time mine took about 10 15 minutes to load up so you might want to go and make a cup of coffee whilst it's uh, processing so here's the result uh, you can see that we've got lots of different layers here. We've got buildings, highway, land use, leisure, natural, railway, waterway. Although there doesn't actually seem to be anything there for waterway. But anyway, there are lots of different layers here. Um, and you can see that we've got different heights for different buildings. Some buildings come in more detailed than others. Uh, we get bridges. Uh, we've got some skyscrapers here in the city. Um, we've got roads. The nice thing got... Oh, these are rivers, I suppose. We've got roads, which we can then... Actually, I think these are railways got railways which we can sweep paths along there's lots of stuff here that you can work with so I'm just going to turn on my shading mode here to cavity and I'm going to select screen space it just helps to highlight the edges of the buildings a bit more clearly so you can see what's going on um, I'd say with this technique you want to be careful not to select an area that's too large like you're probably not going to be able to import the whole city in one go and the faster your internet connection the faster you will be able to download things but be aware of your computer's limitations as well and um, just have fun with it. And yeah, that's basically how you uh, import OpenStreetMap data using the add-on Blender GIS. It's a great add-on and it's free. Incredible.